Arsenal 3, Liverpool 1. Title race is back on, back on. That was an amazing performance. I need to give a big shout out to Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz today has, not only did he get Konati sent off, the work he was doing up front, that Van Dijk fighting with Van Dijk. Actually, the first yellow card, Konati's first yellow card was Havertz. Second yellow card as well was still Havertz. That guy fought today, playing as a false nine. And then when the game started, he was dropping, literally he was dropping, and Saka and Martinelli were kept on running. And you created so many chances like that. That is how our goal, well, it didn't come from that, but our first three or four chances came like that. Like just him coming in, sucking in Van Dijk and Konati because they don't know what to do, and then Saka and Martinelli occupying the spaces at the back. We did that so many times. Klopp, obviously, is not a dumb manager. After we scored our goal, he changed tactics. He just told Van Dijk, you leave, leave Kai. When he goes there, leave him. I want you to stay at the back. We'd rather have Trent um, come into midfield and, and mark him or have uh, Joe Gomez coming in. But that boy today was tireless worker, tireless. Martinelli on that wing. And, and we were on TikTok Live and we were saying it. If they don't uh, do something about Martinelli, because one-on-one -on -one with Trent, it was the, anytime it was one-on-one with Trent, they have to send someone else. And then he's creating a gap on, in the middle or on the left side. And Declan Rice was seeing those passes a lot. He made two or three really good passes that were switch, uh, like switches, because Martinelli would see there's a double team. He just brings it back to Declan, Declan switch. Jorginho in midfield, that was a master stroke from Ateta, whatever he did, because it allowed Declan to just roam the midfield. Like he's not, that's not Jorginho's job. Did you know you just hold? But Declan Rice's job is just to roam the midfield. I believe he was so good today. Um, that's something Party would not do. Party is not as mobile. Party is good at just sitting and holding. And this is where we got Declan Rice for games like this. Having him just roam the midfield and just clean up. Like he's almost given like a quarterback role. You just do your thing, you know. Um, yeah, man, I so many performances. First goal, um, Havertz will have scored that goal. Again, it came from a quick ball counter, and these passes from Raya are becoming, they're becoming like trademark. They're becoming trademark. But yeah, that one was a quick one. Havertz went straight at Allison. Saka was there in hand. His first touch just set the ball nicely, slotted it in one nil. At that point, we were dominating Liverpool. I'm like, are these the title leaders? But yeah, they showed what the title leaders just after that. They just started coming at us, started coming at us. They just kept the ball well, started coming at us. But they didn't really create anything up until Gabriel decides, okay, I think Saliba. Raya, Raya does not come out quickly. So Saliba is trying to shield the ball. And honestly, if you tell him kick it out, Diaz was coming from that side because that's where he got the ball from anyway. Because Saliba is not going to clear it towards the middle of the field. He's trying to clear it out. But Diaz is there because that's how he got the ball. So... He's trying to get the keeper to come. I believe he would have done it earlier, just clear it earlier. He actually did well to cover the pass because the pass into Diaz was really good. Covered the ball well, but then, yeah, Raya took his time. The guy comes in and then he handball from Gabriel goes in. And at some point, the commentator was actually not, he's just a funny guy. He was saying how Gabriel's right hand has done so much damage to Arsenal. It, it was that. Then he's the one who hit uh, Saka when in the D and it was um, during a corner shot to the head so yeah Gabriel scoring and I didn't know if you score an own goal using your hand um, it's considered a goal like regardless that's actually a rule and it, we were on TikTok live I think it was Slappy who told me and he told me Dalo as well did it on Thursday so I didn't know I actually didn't know that because I thought it would be a penalty right but yeah Liverpool going to halftime 1-1 one, one. they did not deserve it they did not deserve to be anywhere close to this game but in typical Liverpool fashion, they got a sniff and they took it. Coming off after halftime, the next two minutes after halftime, they just peppered our goal. McAllister, main culprit, just peppering our goal. Luis Diaz now has moved to the left, just coming at us. And I'm just like, wow, wow, did we give them, did we give them a, a sniff? <laughs> did you give them a sniff? So yeah, um, then obviously we kind of nullify that, just trying to keep the ball and stuff. And then the ball goes to Gabriel in the 60-something minute, and then Gabriel kicks it long. In as much as our own Gabriel made a mistake, their Brazilian made an even bigger howler because the ball comes in. Van Dijk, you should get rid of that. Anyway, Martinelli kind of bodies him. Alisson is trying to clear the ball, but then he, 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 it's like he, held, he holds back and he just touches it well into Martinelli's path. And Martinelli scores, and that was our first shot in the second half to make it 2-1. So they gave us a sniff as well. And from that point on, they were not as dangerous as they were in the beginning. But I don't know who you blame in this scenario because 
probably Alison because the ball comes into your area, you clear, no nonsense. If you clutter into someone, it doesn't matter. But at the same time, Van Dijk is like, what is he doing? You know, like he, he was trying to shield it at first, then like he didn't know he was like caught in between. And obviously he's the one who's blaming Alison. Alison will take the blame. That's the kind of leader he is. Um, but yeah, two one, and at that point it was just like, okay, we just need to hold this. To be honest, they didn't have like an amazing chance or amazing chances. Nunez came on, he wasn't like amazing up until Trossard decided he's going to destroy Javier Lott on the wing. Goes down the wing, like that turn was superb. And then Alisson again. Now this one is totally on Alisson. How are you beaten in between your legs? And your leg, he didn't even try to close them. Like he just kept them open through your legs. Make the score 3-1. This is after Konate has been sent off. And Trossard now scores. He has not scored. He has scored the most goals against Liverpool more than any other team. Like this is the team he likes. And yeah, game ends. 3-1. Um, this is the second Liverpool defeat in the Premier League in 34 games. So this was needed because these guys don't lose games. We needed we needed to pick them back because we know they're going to go on a run. And it's better <laughs> if they are two points ahead of us rather than eight um, if they beat us. So yeah, big win. Ateta made some very crucial decisions today. Jorginho being one of them, starting Jorginho. Oh, Benny Blanco was really good as well today. Ben White was quite good. Um, who else? Martinelli, Saka. But for me, I think my man of the match would be Kai Havertz. The man was just tireless worker up front. And the, everything he does sometimes got noticed because he created so much space through his movement. Um, he was fighting for the ball, getting Konate sent off, both yellow cards. Like, he really, really, really worked hard. The only thing he messed up was hitting the linesman's flag off his hand. But other than that... Solid, solid performance. I'm happy. 3-1. Sunday is good. Now we can just chill, wait for our next game. We're going to West Ham. We now play three away games after this. Our next home game is against Newcastle. So at least the fans will be fired up for that. But yeah, Liverpool, it's been real. Peace. 3-1.